welcome back guys we are going to be working on the boats this is the uh, the Lutterworth passenger line look at this full load of passengers I've let it run on for about a year and a half we're in uh, we're in December of 1861 and we've got uh, 2.38 million in the bank and we're coming up to the end of December now the smart thing to do is to repay as much of your loan as you can before the end of the year because the interest on the loan is paid on the 1st of January so you know what let's um, let's speed this up now he can race into the station now 1st of January pause and you can see that the interest on on our loan um, has been charged on the 1st of January right so because we've reduced it I mean all the other running costs have been charged as well but uh, yeah, we've re we've reduced that, so we're going to reborrow the money. But look, also on the first of January, 19, uh, 1862, we get the Borsig, and that is going to make a new line possible, and it's going to make it possible for us to put in boats. Oh yeah! So we're jumping over the hill from Lutterworth, well, over the hill from Lutterworth, over to uh, Poynton, and we're going to put in a link between this quarry and this materials plant and Poynton and we're gonna use we're gonna use some boats which is gonna be very cool right so first thing we want to do is we want to put get the harbor connected now we want the harbor like as close as we can possibly get it so that the materials will be transferred direct so that we don't have to use carts because that'll save us a bit so what I'm gonna do is uh, run a road straight out here now let's see um, I'm going to run this in a couple of sections because it's creating a bit of a... So... I'm going to come out nice and straight. About there. We'll see. We'll see if we can hook up to that. So we take our freight docks, spin it around the right way, now, can we get this to hook up? And the thing is, oh yes, it's within it's within range. So all we need to do is actually get this to, to actually like place. Now, if we oh, it's outside navigable waters at the moment, how? Oh, now we've got terrain collision. Oh, let's move you around a little bit. Oh, it'll go in there. And yeah, it's definitely connected. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're good. We're good. All right. That is where you're going. Chiching. All right. So now the harbour's in. Let's get the uh, let's get the train line down to there. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. I'm not going to put the other harbour in yet. I'm going to do this this end now. Yeah. <laughs> this is the thing about playing on easy. Um, you can do slightly more ambitious thing. I actually think it's more fun playing on easy. <laughs> Having played both, it's um, medium. Like you're just stressing all the time. This is so much more fun. Right, we're gonna do, we're gonna try and take advantage again of that of that distance that we get from the catchment area. Um, we've got quite a big elevation coming from here up to here. So I want to come down the hill as, as much as I can. So I'm gonna put a road down the hill and I'm going to put it in fairly small sections I think and something, something like this right cool now I'm going to get uh, my freight station again oh freight and I want a terminal flip you around now the thing is you'll find when you're trying to put these in that a lot of the time I oh, see it'll go in there but a lot of the time you'll get unable to align terrain so oh well that's going in there you know what I'd, I'd probably go with that I'd like to turn it see now we're getting unable to align terrain again let's uh, that's, that's maybe a little adjustment and well, we can get it in there now it's very expensive putting this in because we're doing a lot of adjustment to the terrain um, 
maybe something like that. 450, yeah, we'll take that. Cool, are we in range? Yeah, we're nicely in range. Okay. I like it. It's gonna be a nice, interesting little track. So, we'll, uh, we'll run some track from here and point it down to, towards where we're going. And that's another 90k. Now, is that pointing in the right direction? Yep, that's maybe, maybe a fraction straighten. Yeah, there we go. All right, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do, pig. Oh, that's my first that'll do pig of this series. There you go. There's going to be more of those coming. Right, we want to put another one in the other end. Let's flip you around. And again, I want to be pointing it in the right direction. So, uh, let's see. Now, how far out could I go? Oh, I could go quite a long way out. Yeah, I'm going to have it probably about here. Yeah, about there. And fine adjustment. Oh, that looks about straight, doesn't it? Yep, we need some more cash though. Spending money like there's no tomorrow, but it's kind of fun spending money. That's why, you know, it's like playing it on easy. You can do these kind of things, but if you're like if you're playing on, on medium, you can do this. And, like God knows what it's like on hard. I've never even tried it on hard. Construction not possible. Why? Uh, why are you saying construction is not possible, you silly thing? Construction is not possible from there. Why? What's wrong with that? Okay, well, let's... I don't know, let's... Take a section back. You know what, let's... Let's just run it all the way down. Now, if we do that... Now, how much is that? That's a quarter of a million. But you know what? I'll take it. I think. I think we'll take that. Yeah, it's about as, it's about as flat as we're going to get. So, yeah, we'll take it. Cha-ching. Right, where's the, where's the flattest bit? The flattest bit is here. So this is where we're going to put our depot in. So let's get our depot. Where's our depot? Here's our depot. Flip you around. And we're going to do it like a little siding, I think, because I think it looks nice. So, yeah, let's put you in there. And then, oh, too much curvature. All right, let's try a bit further out. How about there? Oh yeah, it likes that. That was a cheap depot. 6K for the track, 22 for that. That'll work for me. Right, now we're gonna get our first Borsig train. <laughs> now, let's, let's compare. So the D1 slash three has a top speed of 25 miles an hour. And the power, this is the important thing, 68 horsepower. This thing, it's only a little bit faster, 28 miles an hour, but it's got twice the pulling power, which means that um, it's gonna be able to actually get stuff up this hill, rather than the, the, the other train, the other locomotive, just it wouldn't have had the power to get up here. So, let's do it. By, we'll take a Borsig. Um, yeah, we'll take, a, uh, not enough money. Ah, I'm gonna need a million, I think. So we're up to four and a half million again. So buy a Borsig. And then let's put, you know, let's put, I think, five cars on here for now. And we'll see how it handles that. So one, two, three, four, five cars. I could afford one more. Oh, do I go for six? Six might be pushing it. Six might be pushing it. Let's try it with five. We can always add another car if we want. Uh, I need to put a line, you idiot. New line. So this is going to be from Pointer with Worth West to Pointer with Worth, Worth Halt. I love the names. They're very trainy names, aren't they? All right. Let's see. Let's see our first Borsig. Oh, here she comes. Let's get rid of that. Oh, ho, 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 and look how bright and shiny she is. Yep, 
look at the brass work on the front of that and look at the reflections that is a beautiful locomotive isn't it now these trains do actually age visibly they st they come out of the train station and they're or the depot and they're bright and shiny and all the brass work is clean and shiny and even the trucks are clean but with age uh, they visibly get grimy and dirty and rusty and, and we'll, we'll go and have a look um, I should actually turn this train around but I kind of want to see when it gets a full run from uh, from its starting point whether it can get up to speed and that's the thing pulling up this hill so let's see 10 miles an hour let's, let's speed it up because we just we, we just want to see what it's going to get up to 18 19 20 oh yeah I mean over 20 mile an hour I'll I'll live with on the return journey yeah that'll do that'll do we can live with that and then, of course, coming downhill, it's going to be full speed with the, with a full load of stone. Oh, and we're getting stone. How much have you got? Oh, he's picked up four stone. Now, I could have told him to just wait for a full load. But I'm just going to let him run. I'm just going to let him run. You have some fun. So it's going to be interesting to see how soon we become profitable on this line. Ooh, our first 15k. Right, now, this thing... This thing has started production. So now we need to get a line over to Poynton. Let's pause this while we get this sorted out. So now where are we going to put the harbour? Now, the way I figured this out last time was the, the industry's all over here, right? And if we put a little road a little small street just off this corner like this so we don't have to knock any buildings down which is kind of nice and then we want to put the harbour in now the thing is before I put the harbour in and it was in this area um, now some people said oh it's too shallow and that's why the boats are going slowly so just use the um, just use the terrain and, and make it deeper. Uh, you can't, right? If um, let, okay, so let's say I wanted to make it deeper. If we let's take a large brush. You can see how it's white there, but if I move it, as soon as you get to the river, it goes red because you can't change the terrain of the river. So I can't make this any deeper, and this is why I'm saying it's a problem. Um, like it's actually a bit of a freaking nightmare. Uh, now I I could hook this up directly. But I think it would make more sense to to put the docks over this side a little bit and just run a road and we'll run some carts in. So so that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna grab a harbour and we'll put it I don't know, we'll put it we'll put it wherever I can get it, really. So I'm thinking um uh, probably probably somewhere over here maybe. You know, probably, I don't know, probably about there, maybe. I could, I, I, I mean, I could put it a little bit closer, but I, I kind of don't want to go near this bad area. So, let's put it, let's put it there. Cool, done. Then we'll take, now I'm going to do this. I, I used a small street there, didn't I? Yes, I did. Uh, let's angle that round and then bring it across here well come on come come straight will you yeah, there we go now now we're relatively straight so actually, let's let's run that on past and then we'll hook it up there there we go nice uh, what we're going to do now is put in um, just uh, some carts. Now, what I want is to be shipping other stuff in here eventually. So, what I think I'm going to do is get... Uh, what do I want? I want, a I want a freight. So, I want a truck station. Now, now this can be... As long as it's within 
distance of this, it could be pretty much anywhere. Um, yeah, and that's within range, so we could put it like up there. Or even, we could put it maybe on this side, but it may not fit. Oh, it, it will. It will. It's a little bit expensive. Is it? Oh, that's not in range. That's not in range. That's in range. So we could put it there. I think we'll just put it on the other side then. It's cheaper. Um, let's be let's be conservative. Let's put it there. Only 16k. Okay, so now the question is, where are we going to deliver to? Now, I think we'll put some roads in to encourage a bit of growth. And I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use, I'm going to use medium streets. Now, I'll put in small streets and we'll upgrade them later. So, now we're going to want a bridge across there at some point. Let's put a nice street in there. And we want another one going up there as well. Oh, come on. Go. Why don't you go straight? Let's try coming in from the other side then. So if we came in from about there. Yeah, there we go. And we can upgrade that little bit there. There we go. Ooh, now this road here, what's that going to do? That's going to knock that down. Yeah, okay, well, let's... Let's curve you round so that you don't knock those down. And have you run you down here as well. Like that. And then... Okay, so I'm thinking we maybe put a, st a stop up there. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. So let's put in uh, a truck station up here. There we go. All right. Okay, so let's get uh, a depot put in. And uh, depot, and where are we gonna put, now where are we gonna put the depot? We can put the depot, we don't, that depot doesn't have to be in the middle of the town. The depot can be kind of out here somewhere. Um, I got attempted to put it next to there, actually. Yeah, let's put it up there. And we want, um, we'll just put, We'll just put one on there for now, just so that we get the route going. Set line, new line. And this is going to be from there to there. Cool. All right, so uh, we've got that set up. So now all we need to do is get the boat set up. So let's get uh, let's get a boat docks going. Boat docks. Now, where are we going to put the boat docks? I think we put the boat docks maybe somewhere over here. In fact, uh, maybe maybe even there. Now, I, I have no idea why the dock needs to be connected to the road, but it does. I mean, not like, like you don't have to have it. You, you can put it in there and then connect it to the road, but it does have to be connected to the road. Don't, don't ask me why. I have no idea. Oh, but that would work. Cha-ching. Right. Buy ships. And now we've got three ships to choose from. We've got the Rigi, which is our passenger ship. Then we've got the, the Zoroaster, which you get in uh, in 1860. And then, that, and that's the that's the oil tanker. That's for crude oil, oil and fuel. And then this is for everything else. The Wilhelm. The Wilhelm the first. Uh, so yeah, buy. Oh, not enough money. Not enough money. Okay. Oh, we're up to five million. Okay. Buy. Cha-ching. All right. Set line, new line, running between, and you know what, I'm gonna change the color of this. This should be, this should be blue for sure. Um, what am I doing? Oh uh, yeah, line eight, oh, set line. Uh, oh, I need to change it here, yeah. Oh well, never mind. Add station, so there to there. And you can see it does this kind of silly thing where it goes into the station if you can if you can actually align them so if you had this one over here going to one over on this side it would actually run much faster than putting it in like this it's which is I find frustrating but it is what it is right let's go and look at this boat here it comes oh 
These are very cool. Oh, that's the dock. Don't want the dock. Not the boat. There we go. How cool is that horn? Oh, look at that. And they are staggeringly cool. The detail on them is awesome. Look at the little steps coming down. There's a little cannon on the front. A little lantern. A bloke standing at the tiller. I bet he's a very, very proud captain, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Should we speed things up a little bit? Let's speed things up a little bit. So he's going to get on with his... Uh, Get on with this job. Oh, he's going to sail straight over here. Now, have you got any stone? No, you haven't got any stone yet. Line usage, no. Hopefully that's going to change. Let's speed things up. So once we, uh, once we get on here, hopefully that's going to change to yes. Because otherwise I'm going to have to put trucks in. And I really don't want to do that. It, it is... Hang on a second. That's not showing up as being within range now. And it was before. Oh, come on. Seriously? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not, that's now that's saying that's not in range. That was in range before. Oh, man. Come on. That's cheating. Jeez. Okay, we get rid of that. We get rid of that. I'm going to have to smooth this terrain out because it won't like that. All right, so. There we go. Smooth all that out. Okay, let's get my harbour again. Okay. We've got it in. Uh, I'm going to have to redo this road, though. So, yeah, keep your fingers crossed, because this is not good. Uh, I'm going to have to smooth that again. Ay, ay, ay. And this is all costing money. All right, there we go. So, and let's do it like that. And then hook it up straight. Let's do it in... Do it in a couple of chunks. All right. Are you in range? Yes, you are. Okay. So now let's try that again. Come on. Come on. Start using this damn harbour. Well. Oh, yes. Hooray. We got it to work. Awesome. Right. How's our train doing? Our train's doing okay. He's... Um, how much stone have we got waiting for you up here? We've got 17 stone, 18, 19. All right, what's your capacity? Your capacity is 20, isn't it? I think. Yeah, your capacity is 20. So he's almost up to full capacity now. So he's whizzing the stone down there nicely. Yeah. You're churning that out. That's going to the dock. So all we need now is for our boat to start actually picking it up. Should we, um, should we follow it on his first on his first collection run? And you'll see he's just chugging along, but then he slows down here. And this this little bit of pulling into here is very slow. And it really slows the line down. It's much, much quicker if you're actually coming from the other direction. But there's kind of not really anything that you can do about that. So you just have to factor that into the into your line. Here we go. Oh, he's going to have a fair old amount to pick up. How much have you got? Oh, I think about 25. Oh, 25. Bang on. Oh, yes. Toot on the horn. And then he's going to head over towards Poynton. Peachy. Right, let's have a look at our uh, our profits because we'll see how we're doing. Are we making any money? 
And this has got a lot bigger now because we've, we've added water. So let's, uh, let's put our lines up there. Well, we're making money at the moment. Now, we spent last year, we spent two point, uh, we, well, we lost 2.4 million. We spent 2 million. Uh, let's see. Uh, we spent almost 3 million. Yeah, we spent almost 3 million. So, yeah, we're still making around about 400,000. Now, hopefully, once this line gets fully up to speed, we should be making more than that, because this tends to be fairly profitable. Awesome. Okay, so, how are we doing over here? Have we got good demand? And are we, have we got good production? Now, I'm thinking that this is going to be limited by this train, how much this train can ship down here. So I think I think we're going to have to add a second train. Now production's coming up. Production 64. How much are you going to have for your next trip? Oh, 29, 30. Oh, we're, well, we're getting there. We're getting there. I could think about putting another. Let's pause for a second. I could think about putting another truck on here. Um, as long as it's not going to affect the speed too much, but I think we'd be better off actually like running two trains. Yeah, I think we'd be better off running two trains. We're up to 900k. So yeah, we're still making money. Okay, let's make some more money. Let's leave that to settle in for a while and let's head over here. We're going to upgrade this train where are you there you are oh okay so he's just picking up a load there we go what we're gonna do we're gonna put um, we're gonna put a new Borsig train on this and put an extra couple of cars so that he can haul more up here and then this is gonna produce more and then we can put more a couple more cars on there for it to haul down to there and we'll make more money out of this line Rattling on. Let me catch you up. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> I was trying to get a nice panning shot then. That didn't really work out. All right. Okay, so I want you to now go to the depot so that we can upgrade you. How's our ship doing? Oh, he's carrying 38. Oh, how's the profitability of the line? Ooh, we're almost getting profitable. Nice. Right, let's upgrade you. So, buy trains. Now, we're going to sell the old locomotive. We'll buy a new Borsig. And I've got enough money. Cool. Uh, now, let's say we've got one, two, three. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so, I think what we'll do is we'll add on, like... Um, yeah, let's add one more of those and two more open car uh, open wagons. Yeah, let's do that. So you're going to go back onto, uh, which is it? Line one. And away you go. Right, as soon as you get past the points, I, I was calling them an intersection and, I, and somebody pointed out to me that they're actually called points. Right, he's past the points. Thank you. Any more train jargon you want to pass on, feel free. Oh, look at all this lovely freight piled up here. Awesome. Yeah, you know what? While, while he's doing that, let's go and check on our passenger line. How are we doing passenger-wise? We've got 48 passengers waiting there. Okay, you've just picked up. Have you got a full load? Let's try that again. Uh, okay, that doesn't. 
that doesn't seem right. There's something, there's something wrong there. I think we may have a little glitch yet. Uh, what? Oh, I'm clicking on a person instead of the train. That's why it's doing that. There we go. There's the train. Uh, yeah, he had a full load of passengers. 36. He's picked up a full 36. How many people are left? Wow, there's still 29 passengers waiting. Oh, we need to crank that up with a couple more carriages, don't we? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, this is starting to make a profit, the ship. This train's making a profit. Um, yeah, this train's making a profit. Uh, we probably need to put some more wagons on that line, don't we? Yeah. Let's see. There's probably lo Yeah, there's loads sitting here. There's 40. So... Let's get that shipped. Let's click on you. Yep, they need construction materials. Uh, why are the construction materials not getting absorbed by these industrial buildings? They're not taking them. Um, uh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, the stuff's being shipped over to here. That's in range of those. That's in range of those. Have we actually got full coverage? Yeah, we've got full coverage. But the construction materials aren't being used by industry. Um, okay, well that's a little bit of a problem. Okay, I'm going to try something to try and fix this. Uh, but that again, that's a that's kind of a it's a little bit of a little bugger, isn't it? They should be taking it, and they're not. Why are they not taking it? All right, well I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put in a uh, let's see, yeah, road. Yeah, so we'll we'll put one of these out here. So let's put let's put one of these over here. Let's just uh, rotate him a little bit like that. And pop you there. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this one, which unfortunately is going to lose this. Ah, that's annoying. Um, let's buy some road vehicles. Horse wagon. One, two, three, four. Set line. Line seven. Okay, go. And then we'll adjust the line. Yeah, I'm going to have to lose this, I think. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. We lose that. And then let's adjust line seven. Oh. That's kind of... That's, I've got to say, that is kind of annoying. So let's remove these and we'll redo this. So we'll... We'll go from here to here. Uh, am I going to put two lines in? Put two separate lines in? Go on, I'll put two separate lines in. So we'll ship up to there and uh, let's see. I want a new line. New line which will run from there to there. Man, this is annoying because I shouldn't have to do this. All right, so now I'm going to have to move some vehicles around. Um, let's see, I've got five. I'll put three on each, maybe. Yeah, okay. So you are going to go on line nine. And let's see. You, you transfer to line nine. And you transfer to line nine. Okay. Right, well, let's see if that works. Uh, I'll smooth that little bit of terrain there. Alrighty. Again, you know, this is a this is a preview build that I've got, so it may be that these are little glitches that will get ironed out. And my God, I certainly hope so.
So have we got we got full coverage? Yeah, that's covering that. And that's covering that. So good. Yeah, we've got full coverage. I'm just wondering if I should run that road across there. Yeah, why the hell not? Let's, let's do that. Let's run that road. Across there. And across there. See if we can't encourage some industrial growth. That would be nice. Okay, so here comes... How much, uh, how much are you carrying? 31. I, I'm, I must admit, I'm kind of nervous now because this needs to work. And if it doesn't, we've got a real problem. Okay, so you've now got the stuff. That wagon's going to pick it up. He's going to take it. Well, you're taking it up to this one. Okay, well, let's follow you. a little bit on slow. We'll have a little bit on slow because I know some people do like the close-ups and they like to see it in real speed and stuff. And I tell you what, it is quite pretty, isn't it? you got to admit. It is very cool. Let's speed it up because I want to see this delivery. Okay, so he delivers it. Cha-ching. And, oh my god, it's been delivered. So, let's have a look at industry. Uh, you haven't had any yet. Who got it? Who got it? And that's a residential. That's a residential. That's a commercial. Industrial. Oh, look. Supply rating. 58%. Hooray. Awesome. Freaking source. <laughs> so, yes. Eventually, we got the supply chain working. My God. That was a little bit harder than it should have been. All right, uh, where's line eight? Line eight's that. Uh, yeah, okay, good. So yeah, now we're gonna have to wait a little bit of time for uh, for this to become profitable to ship everything around. How much are you carrying now? 39. We need more stone, so I think the next thing we're gonna do, probably, is to expand this into a double track line and uh, and have two trains running up and down. That means we could ship twice as much stone, which will produce twice as much construction materials, which means that we can then maybe put a second boat on here. Oh, oh, yeah, we're starting to make money. We're starting to make money. Let's see. So we made 560 last year. I think once this route beds in, we should be getting up to, I don't know, I'd hope we'd be getting up to six, 700,000. We've got 1.9 million. So I can actually repay some of the loan. You know what, I'm going to wait for it to get up to 2 mil. So, repay half a mil. Repay. Come on. Somebody sell something quick. Get me up to, come on, get me up to 500k. Oh, come on. Where's my, where's my upgraded train? Yeah, we need you to deliver. Are you carrying full loads? Yep, he's carrying full loads. That's perfect. Now look, we've got lots of food sitting here so yeah uh pause i tell you what we'll do this we'll do this just before the end of the episode so uh, i want you to turn around get past the points right now go to the depot quick so he'll go into the depot <clears throat> we will get this uprated and you know what uh pause uh, we'll sell the old locomotive because the new locomotive will be, will be better. And we will buy a Borsig for it. And... Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, we'll buy a Borsig for it and we'll put a couple more goods wagons on. I think just a couple. Yeah, I think just a couple is probably going to be enough. How much have we got waiting? Let's see. 64. Yeah. Okay, put you back on line two, and off you go. So again, wait for him to get past the points, 
and we'll manually reverse him. Right, go go get more food. Make more money. So what did we make? Uh, we made 560 last year. All right. Okay, you know what? We'll leave it there. We'll leave it there for this episode. How are we doing? Oh, oh, oh these lines are becoming profitable. Good. Excellent. Where's our, where's our ship? I can't even find it. Oh, it's way over here. Man. All right. It is fun. There's no question. It's huge fun. But man, uh, when you actually find a little problem, man, it can be killer. So, so there you go. Come back for the next one. We'll double up this line. We'll have our first double track line. Put another train on there. We'll, uh, I think, step up production on this line. And we'll put in, I don't know, extended passenger line. Maybe over to Hastings. Who knows? Come back and find out. I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.